This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Today, talking about Marilyn Manson, Evan Rachel Wood, the case around him, the allegations around him. Some people say it's five women. Some people say 10 women. Amber Heard says up to 20 women. So I realized that I don't actually know, or we don't actually know exactly how many allegations there are. So just something to think about. And this article by NBC News from February 19th says that Marilyn Manson will be investigated. Now, I've claimed on this channel the whole time, I'm pretty much 50-50. I'm open to the fact that he might have done this. He does have some pretty sick lyrics, you know, sick art and things like that. Now, that doesn't make him guilty. But it does put in question, would he actually try this stuff in real life? to kind of experience what he's singing about, what he's talking about. That's not completely unreasonable. However, there are also only allegations. I don't have any solid evidence right now that he's done it. On this channel, I went over some voice recordings. Seems they were fake. I took a look at some pictures of the abuse, but it seems like, you know, they were just pictures of someone's body without showing the face. So all the evidence I've gotten so far hasn't really convinced me in the same way that the evidence against Amber Heard has convinced me and millions of people. So let's take a look at this article and the investigation that's going to happen. And I'll say this, if this investigation happens and they don't find anything, then, well, it's going to be hard to move forward and just say, he's the abuser, he's the abuser, he's the abuser. At the point where the police investigate it and, you know, nothing's found, that might lean my opinion towards, well, it could be true, but at this point, there's no way to know. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we see it by NBC News. LA County Sheriff launches domestic abuse probe of Marilyn Manson. Westworld actor Evan Rachel Wood said she was horrifically abused by the musician. Los Angeles County authorities announced Friday they've launched the domestic violence investigation of goth rock icon Marilyn Manson following allegations made by former girlfriend Evan Rachel Wood. In a brief statement, the LA County Sheriff's Department said its Special Victims Unit would look at his actions in West Hollywood, California. So, they weren't very specific on that, but I'd assume they'd maybe look at his computer, emails he sent, pictures he might have, things like that, videos, I don't know, anything they could find. It's 2021, we're not in 1981 here where all we could do was like look under his bed. There's got to be a way where they could maybe check out his phone, whatever it is. So that's what I'm saying. If they do this detailed investigation and nothing comes up, well, I'm going to say that's pretty big points on his side. So they basically repeat themselves in this first paragraph here, saying that Brian Warner will be investigated. Then they go on to say, the incidents occurred between 2009 and 2011 when Mr. Warner lived in the city of West Hollywood, the small but prominent city of West Hollywood, which sits in the shadows of Los Angeles and Beverly Hills, contracts its law enforcement to the department. So here they include Marilyn Manson's defense, and I've seen an article from The Sun who also included his defense, which I think is a great and a fair thing to do. So if you're going to put out allegations, in these tabloids, in the news, it's definitely the right thing to do to also include the defense. So for you guys who haven't heard his defense, he goes on to say, Obviously my art and my life have long been magnets for controversy, but these recent claims about me are horrible distortions of reality. My intimate relationships have always been entirely consensual with like-minded partners, regardless of how and why others are choosing to misrepresent the past, that is the truth. So he's not saying they're lying. I think the fact that Marilyn Manson is not saying these are lies is a very important detail. And I've said that myself here over and over, that I don't necessarily think that these women are lying. I think what they're doing is taking these, you know, past experiences, this uncomfortable bondage and kinky stuff that goth people do and now saying years later it was abuse and you can get emotional about that 
you can think about past sexual relationships and shed some tears and get emotional, you know, and get riled up, but that doesn't necessarily mean that what you say happened, happened the way it happened. It just means you're getting emotional about the past. So, when this investigation happens, obviously I'll be looking for results, and they'll be pretty important. Until then, you guys, let me know what you think down below. Consider subscribing. I'm doing Depth vs. Heard. This case here, shout out to Cindy Bryden who sent me this article. She's been a big help. Thank you. If you don't subscribe, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.